How's it going? I know it's only early, day two, and we're all feeling really, really strong and motivated at the minute. But don't let it slip. So I'm going to make a recipe today that all the family were going to enjoy. It's it's veg well it's only vegetables because vegetables have got lots of low calories in, but it's got a bit of a sweetness to it, and it is one of my favourites. You can use it as an accompaniment to something. So if you made yourself something nice and you want it to go with it, instead of having in chips or any anything like that, you can have this, and it's for Alison Fielding. So I'm going to show you how to make it, Alison, and anybody else. Well, I'm just waving it. <laughs> A swede at you <laughs> so let's get on and make it now it's quick and easy don't take a lot of effort you don't need to be on master chef to make it so let's just do it now all you need to make this is a swede which are very cheap not very exciting on their own swedes but you need a swede you need some honey it says a red chilli, well I like red and green so I put a red and ch green chilli in, a bit of garlic and some cumin or cumin or whatever it's called. That's it, that's all you need, the ingredients. So first thing you're going to do is peel your, your sweet. Eventually, you need to chop it into small cubes. And then put it in, I've put it in the wrong dish. Put it in it like a shallow cooking dish, like that. So your cubes only need to be like smallish. I don't think I did, I don't think it was like Master Chef, but just smallish cubes. And then two tablespoons of olive oil are going drizzled over those. Now, I got myself, or I should say a friend bought me, some of these measuring things. Now, what I thought was a teaspoon was nothing like a teaspoon before. So I think it's worth getting some of these measures. Because you can't, olive oil really chucks the calories in. So two teaspoons of olive oil, and give it a drizzle. Let's give it a mix around so it gets everywhere. These are going to go in the oven now. Gas Mark 6. Oh, I'm not lit it. Oh. Hang on, I'll be back in a minute when it's hot. Right, it should be hot now. Yeah, that's better. So you're going to put those in the oven. Okay, gas mark six for 30 minutes just giving them a stir till they go soft and they're quite golden All right but you can be getting on with the other bit while that's cooking so I'm gonna make the topping now that's gonna go on it in a minute now I put in the recipe says one red ch chili de-seeded well I like hot things and I like red and green because it I think the color looks nice so, don't put the seeds in if you don't like it red hot. If you do like it red hot, put the seeds in. I'm going to chop up one clove of, well, two cloves of garlic. Again, if you don't like garlic, you don't have to put garlic in. I just think it's, it's nicer. Let's put some garlic in. I'm, te I'm, always, I'm, I'm bad, I always put about four in. So... Garlic's meant to stop you having a cold. And I think everybody's had flu over the Christmas. Seems to be that a lot of people have had that flu, haven't they? And I got the flu, but I only had it for three days. And I think that's because I eat lots of garlic. Like a vampire repellent. I don't think a vampires have come near me. Or should I put another in? Oh, I'm just going to put another in. You don't have to put three in. I just like garlic, I can't help it. Next, 
next you're going to add two teaspoons of cumin. I like this cumin stuff. I don't know what it's called proper. Oh, come on. Oh, look. Oh, come out. Is that how you do it? Oh, that's how you do it. Right. I'll just put a bit more in for good luck. Oh, how lovely. And then the best bit is you're going to put in, in honey two tablespoons of honey now it does make this recipe is for it's for four people well four portions but it's only 97 calories a portion it's all right isn't it I should dribble it all out I don't want to waste any I'm sure I'm missing something I don't think I am Come on, honey, you're not wasting any of that. And then give that a bit of a mix up. I'm sure I'm still missing out of this. And all the fuse the flavours will infuse together. And what you're gonna do in a bit, you see, you're gonna spread that all over your swedes when they're cooked and it the, the honey melts. And the flavours go all up. Oh, I tell you what, it's gorgeous. I can't wait to make it now. Oh, guess what I'm having for my tea. Right there. So that's mixed up now. So I'm just going to wait until my sweet comes out. We also need some coriander. Now, I usually have some, but I didn't. I was just rushed to the shop because I forgot about it and got some from the co-op. So I'm just going to chop up. I don't think I need that much. Probably half a bag of coriander. Right, they've been in 30 minutes now. Yeah. Look, can you hear them sizzling? They already look like chips, don't they? Look. So, I'm going to tip in now my special mixture, which I made before. I'm going to tip that in. Oh, it smells good. Okay, for a little dribble out. Waste not, want not. That's what they say up north. Right, and then I'm going to mix that all around now. Can you hear it sizzling? coriander in, sprinkle that in, give that a bit of a stir in, so it's all mixed in, oh look at, oh smell on that's fabulous, right and then when it's all coated with the honey and your garlic and your chillies and your coriander and your, your cumin, right I'm just going to stick that back in now for 10 minutes just to give it a last bit, last bit of a doing. So that's back in there now for just another 10 minutes. Oh, I wish you could smell it, it's gorgeous. Look at that. I'll tell you what, the taste in them is absolutely phenomenal. Now you can have that on its own for your lunch. Well, half of it would be, would be 200 calories. Or you can, you know, you can serve it as a portion to go with something else, you know, if you've got chicken or, or something or other and you want something that's really hearty and wintry and it's going to warm you up. i tell you what, that's it. It's mega. But anyway, I'm off now to eat it. Mmm. Mmm. 
You would never know a Swede could taste so good. I think it's called something else in America, but I'm not quite sure what it is. Mm. 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 The diet doesn't have to be rubbish. It doesn't have to be salad. You can have stuff where my lips are on fire, which it is. Oh. 